Good morning. Welcome to my new makeup moment in my new makeup station. I'm LV Look, and as you're hopping on, I'm going to pin the shopping links. Now you see, I do have, now we have sunshine, so now we have, I had to put the blind down, so this is all new for me. Um, before we did the hour change, before we went into daylight savings, it was perfect. But pretty soon it should be behind that wall. So it's funny. Hello, gorgeous. I'm just pinning my comments. There we go. I saw your mom. She picked up a mug. I was like, I need one. It says, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> I need a sign. That's what, now I'm going to, now I, now I'm going to decorate this corner. So hello. So today is going to be another little fancy look and it's so easy. And it was all based on <laughs> On my new earrings aren't they beautiful um, I get them from a company called hey June and the website is shop hey June I don't get any commissions for this but I this is all of her jewelry that I've been wearing and it is really top quality um, she gets really good metals so um, if you're interested in the link just message me and I'll and I'll send you the link for the jewelry so as you're hopping on I'm going to start with my eye cream and because it is really t um, working for me. And I know some people I know um, said that they had some issues and I know I did it first. There's Your skin has an adjustment to new products from what you were using before and so just allow yourself grace for that little bit of time. Because um, I know when I first started using it, I was kind of reddish around my eyes and I thought I don't know what's causing it because I also was using another product and I also had my old stuff and it was just like maybe combining them all. Now I'm just doing Strictly Unique and it's all cleared up and gone. So I feel, have total faith in this product. And so the eye cream, not only does it have ginseng and caffeine which help to uh, tighten the pores, but it also has vitamin C, which is what will target those um, dark circles or the pigmentation under your eyes. And so now we're gonna do onto primer. So I'm in this new location and I'm like, okay, <laughs> where is everything? I have to figure out where I put it. And uh, so today I'm gonna to do my mattifying primer. <laughs> I just love my mattifying primer. And the reason why is it fills in fine lines and pores. So if you have this beautiful surface, smooth surface to apply your makeup on, if you think of when you're, um, painting walls and if you just put paint on straight drywall what happens um, you will see all of the the flaws you will also see um, that it's going to be the the drywall is going to suck it in and so you're going to need more paint you're going to use tons more paint and you're not going to have that su uh, smooth surface and then in areas where it's absorbed in areas that it's sitting on the surface then you have that shinier finish a uh, dull flat finish and the color isn't going to look the same so it's the same principle with our face when we apply primer um, it's going to give a, fill in all those fine lines and pores it's going to give us this smooth surface we're going to use less product it's going to keep our product on the surface, um, not being our makeup not being absorbed into our skin. It's going to have it sitting above our fine lines and pores. And you're also going to get a, it's a truer color of your makeup. And so I was using the mattifying primer and it's not drying, it's mattifying it, it, that it, it I, because it's smoothing it out, it maybe gives that matte effect and then eye primer. So you can't use the same, You the reason why you have a different product for your eyes as opposed to your primer for your face is your eye makeup is different than your face makeup, so they need different primers. So now I'm going to do some eye primer. And the same thing with this. It's going to help keep your our, our eye shadows from pooling into a line in the crease. It's also gonna keep them looking not so muddled um, a, a, a clearer color and it's gonna stay on all day which is what I love because before my my makeup was worn off in no time so there so now we've got our 
foundation. So before I come live, I do my exfoliation in the shower and then I, I come out and I moisturize and I do all my serums and and then that's why I, I don't do them here because I like to do them after I've been in the shower and you're, the pores are all open and then they'll really absorb all the goodness out of my serum and my moisturizers and then I save the eye cream to do with you but I also say uh, do the prime the primer now is part of our step for our makeup so today is another so on on my Mon Tuesday's live I did a look for a special occasion and so today too is going to be a fancy look but it is so simple so you know I'm going to switch it up I am going to start with my foundation today and I got a new one I I'm normally an eyelet and I and I got my win I think I'm going to be a, a lace in the winter and so it's probably a titch early but I'm going to use the two and I'm going to have fun with just a little bit of of light and dark so this is my lace and just as we would do um, when we're contouring so I'm going to do um, certain areas I'm just going to start applying it in the front I'm not sure if I'm going to do concealer today let's see how it goes Gonna make this really easy. There we go. And then I'm gonna do eyelet, which is my summer shade. Everywhere else. Let's just see how that goes. I'm gonna try something there now. And you have to use the kabuki brush. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll get used to this yet. Oh. Let's see. Making sure I'm not missing any comments. So. I like to do a combination of stippling because when you're swishing it around, it it, it can you can get um, an uneven an uneven finish. So I love um, stippling it, and the the stick foundation has full coverage. It's a dewy, a beautiful dewy finish. So when you are on a special occasion, it is nice to have that dewy, glowy finish. And it's so easy with the stick. And it's, well, it's beautiful for all skin. I mean, I, I was thinking, you know, when you really think about it, um, some people say, well, which one is good for mature skin? But, you know, really they all are. But I'm, I would, this one maybe in, it's number one good for mature skin. You know, but anyone, because it is the word I had to write it down. It is non-comedogenic, so it's a wax-based foundation, but it's non-comedogenic in meaning that it doesn't clog your pores. It stays on the surface. It doesn't soak in to your skin. Isn't that cool? I learned a new word today. Hello, gorgeous. Welcome, Linda. So today is going to be. So I'm. Ah, oh, I like this. You know, I'm combined. Um, I got my winter color in and it, I thought it was a little early but I am using the two and I like it I like it I'll do that for a while because it's kind of like you know how you get in between shades and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do concealer today and it, this look is all based around the earrings <laughs> I just love them. So I'm in my new workstation and I just love it. I love the sunshine. I can look out the window. Um, it might, I had to bring the blind down because I was getting a glare. Um, <laughs> I was worried I was going to freeze by the door in the window so I put the fireplace on. Hello Jennifer, welcome. And, uh, and then I wasn't thinking when the sun starts, of course on a cloudy day it will be easier, but it's beautiful. The sun is shining in and and then I just thought, well, maybe I'm going to cook. <laughs> but that's okay. I can whip this off. <laughs> so what I'm wearing is actually one of the, the outfits that um, is from the summer collection from Pretty Cute Things. Oh, thank you for the love. Thank you. Okay. So I'm, I'm really liking the two tones. And so I'm just going to try, instead of using concealer, I'm just going to put 
a little bit more of the lace under my eye. Today. Because I don't feel like, I feel like that cream has worked so good that I don't have that many bags. Ah, and if I go to a function, I probably will put the concealer what I normally do, but just for today. It's just going to be simple and easy. And right now we're attending functions on Zoom. So I have my Monday's look is going to be for the wedding I'm attending on Saturday. And then I'm attending another function on Sunday. So then today's look can be for that one. All right. Yeah, I'm liking that. Two-tone it is. Lace and eyelet. Which I've included, I didn't, I didn't include that in the, um, because if you were wanting to get a foundation, let me color match you so that you can get the right, the right shade. And so I'm in my new location, so I gotta figure, okay, what now? Uh, I knew I would, I would not remember, so I, okay, bronzer. <laughs> so I wrote down my order, just because it's a, I wanna make sure, oh, I know. You can touch up with a little bit, like I have this beautiful dewy finish, which I think I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, if you want to mattify it a little bit, and I'm just using a damp blending, but if there's some little areas, I wanted to just press it in and make sure that it, it's, it's a smooth finish where my pores are. Okay, I'm going to maybe just do a titch, a titch of, I saw a kabuki brush online and it's like, <laughs> pink one. I want to order it. I tried, but it wouldn't, wasn't working for me, so I'll try it again. All right, so I'm just gonna touch up with a little bit of poplin. Just, and it's just a little bit of powder finish. It'll just give me a, t it, this is a, a pr our pressed powder foundation, so it's so silky, fine, sm smooth. And I just mattified it a little bit. I still have the dewy finish, but I like the, not to be too shiny. All right, let's go on to, let's see, figure, my mirror's in the way. I might have to change things. It's a work, I'm in my new location and I love it. You get to see my, <laughs> the living room behind me. I have um, a love affair with elephants. And uh, I think, I've always loved elephants, but you know when it really started is, okay, I'm gonna use Voil today. But it's so easy, I've got all my makeup here if I decide. If I, now I don't have to leave if I forget something, I love this. And so, um, maybe I will switch it up. And welcome, hello gorgeous, hi Ida, I'm so glad to see you. So, my love affair of elephants really intensified after Ken died, shortly after, uh, Ken died February, and I think it was March. There was this, um, they called him the Elephant Whisper. And I'm gonna, I can't remember the country. It might've been, might've been Africa, but I'm, it probably was one of the countries in Africa. And anyway, he, the story about him is that there was this, he had a sanctuary and welcome, hello gorgeous, Rebecca, nice to see you. So he had this sanctuary and there were these wild elephants. Wait, let me think. I, I should have read this. I never even thought of the story till today. So it's like, okay, now I have to dig into the, the basement of my brain. Um, there were these, I don't know whether these elephants were from used to be zoo or whether they were wild, but they were kind of gone rogue. Uh, I think, oh yes, they were wild elephants, but they've gone rogue because they'd seen a lot of, um, um, you know, killing. I'm just gonna hold that thought. Your order came in today, you're excited to play. Yes, I'm so excited for you too, Rebecca. Okay, you'll have to post pictures. That would be awesome in my group. That would be awesome. So I'm just applying the, uh, the bronzer which I'm using press, our pressed powder foundation as a bronzer. Um, oh, I just love my new earrings. Okay. <laughs> um, 
So, so they were going to kill them. They said if they didn't stop, if so, they they went to this guy, saying, you know, can you do something for these these elephants? And they said, we're otherwise we're going. The hunters were right there, and and so they had he brought them to his sanctuary, but they kept breaking out, and then the hunters were there ready to shoot them, and so he he basically he just you know and there were, the matriarch was the one that was leading the way so he he went there and he stayed there overnight for a number of nights and i mean these are wild elephants and he just kept talking to her and saying to her like look if you go they're all going to follow you and you're going to be killed and like he just anyway he's he built up the trust with her, with them and so he would go and they would he could call them and they'd come and they got to know him and it was it you if you google it uh, I wish I could remember his name. So in March, so this is a month after Ken died, he died. And these wild elephants, meanwhile, they 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 had rehabilitated. They were um, really good. And then they explored. They stayed within the plantation that they were safe. And which was huge. And so he, you know, didn't always see them because they might have been another part of the the compound way you know miles away miles away so when he died no one knows but they knew and they did this long convoy okay I don't know why I should be getting messages I thought I put it on airplane mode um, they went on this long convoy to the whole his home and they paid their respects and they were there like three days morning it was just such a touching story. So with me, with my grief after losing my husband was raw, you know, and I just, it was, the, it was at that moment that I had this insatiable desire to be with the elephants. And I still do to this day. So I, that was when uh, we planned the trip to Africa and I did get to go on a safari and the highlight of my trip was elephants. So I'm just applying some blush and I'm using Sisterly today, which is just a pretty soft pink. I'm not used to seeing myself in daylight. <laughs> I feel like I've been in a hole in that office all this time. It's so pretty to have natural light coming in. I don't know, can you tell a difference in the lighting? <laughs> Does it, in the, at least it's a prettier background. So that was my story for the elephants behind me. Why that all came up, it was cute. So I'll swirl it in. All right. Now, the star of the show is the eyes. What have I, I've got on to the, so this one, this this look is so easy, so easy. So you're gonna start, I like to start with a transition color. And the ones that I want to use are out of stock, so I can't use them. So the one that is in stock, if, if there's still two of you that don't yet have the palette six, go get it, go get it. I love this palette and every time when I'm wearing it, I get compliments. People always wanna know, you know, what color is that you're wearing and it's from here. Oh, yeah, it was, it is an emotional story. It, um, and, and I wish I could remember the name, but just Google Elephant Whisper, um, Elephants Paid Respects to Elephant Whisper, and I think it was March 2000, 12. March 2012 is when he died, which was a month after Kin. So I'm going to use a transition color from my palette six and I'm going to grab my blending brush. There we go. And I'm just going to, so you just want a nice soft brown beige taupe as a transition color. I'm just going to use the one in here, which is called Enthralled. Um, what other ones would be nice? Um, astute, timid. I'm trying to remember some names, but they're they're all out of stock. Oh, I no timid is in stock. Use timid. I should have put it on there. I I ordered it. It's coming. Get timid. <laughs> it's really pretty. That would be perfect for a transition color. So I'm just going to put it starting at the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just blending it in. And it's just going to add, it's going to make this look pop and make it look like so complicated. 
Now some on the other side. This is so easy. And I'm now I, I was like, and all I'm going is actually I do have to do a couple errands now today. I, I don't normally go out on Friday. Normally Friday is my laundry housework day. But my order from Pretty Cute Things is in. It's and it's at the post office. They had they didn't deliver it. I guess I don't think the box was big enough <laughs> to fit my order. It's probably honking huge. So I'm gonna have all new clothes for my next lives. And it's really getting hard because all of the clothes that I have, they're right now out of stock. But she does have, like I've got a couple more cardigans coming or like, what do you call these, like cardigans? Animal print ones, I've got, I think, one or two more coming and there's lots of animal print. So this look goes really nicely with animal print. Okay. I will leave that out in case I want to come back to it. So now, the star of the show. And I've used this before, and it's ornate. It's the liquid shadows. It is, what's so amazing, this one's got like this a metallic sheen. So when you put it on with the light, you're going to get all of these variances and shades of the color, and it's going to look like you did a whole palette of colors, and you didn't. You just did this. And I'm going to use the fluffy crease brush, which I've included in today's shopping link. Because, and just so you know, in the kit for $532, you get 15 full sized items. So you get the mascaras, like the waterproof, the 4D, the twisted, and the primer. You get the reverent, the color, that beautiful champagne color. Is it getting dark in here or is it just me? Is it bright enough? Somebody will have to let me know. Um, you get the fluffy crease brush. You get a blush. Um, you get the cleansing wipes. It's been a while since I got mine, so I'm trying to remember. But for $532 worth of product for $119, you cannot go wrong. You owe it to yourself to get yourself some good makeup. So starting on the inner corner of the eye, and it's got this doe foot applicator, so it really makes application easy. So starting on the inner corner of our eye, we're just gonna swipe across. I'm just gonna stick to the lid. It's such a pretty metallic golden, or bronze. I'll call it a, brown, a bronze. And that's why I started with my foundation first because I'm just using this today. And I mean, really, it's done. I feel like it's too dark. Let me try opening the blinds. Does that help? I don't have any light shining in, yay. So, just hoping, I think it's just me. You'll have to let me know if it's too dark. I'm not used, I think maybe I just got used to those, I had like the two ring lights and these two LED lights, like a shining like spotlights in my face and it was blinding. So now I'm gonna do the other side and you see how easy this is? And so the thing with liquid shadows is they are not going anywhere. You could go swimming. They dry and they don't budge. They don't, you won't end up in the line. They are amazing. And I'm just gonna blend the edges out. And I mean, we could complicate this look if we wanted to, but it's just such a beautiful bronze. There we go. I'm done. And I'm going to just maybe clean. Well, maybe not. Or maybe I don't need to. Let me just grab my foundation brush.
because I'm even going to put a little bit underneath my eye. So I'm going to take it again. I have to get a little clock for here now because now I have no idea what time it is. Oh yes, I'm going to look at the wall. <laughs> right. And I'm going to just dot it under my eye. And take, I'm going to take, actually I want the liner shader brush. Okay, and I'm going to use the liner side. And just blend that. I think it just poked myself in the eye. And it just sort of makes this a little bit now of a smoky eye. Isn't this so easy? And it is and it doesn't come out. There you can see there's the sun shining. You don't have to worry about that. I don't know if I have enough under there. Okay. Right. I mean, if you wanted, you could apply a little bit more to have a darker in the corner, but I'm just going to go with it, just like that. How easy is that? All right, we browse, onto brows, onto brows. I'm going to use my palette today. Sorry. Um, I love the, the Mood Obsession palette, and I will keep showing it to you because one day it will be back, and you will know how to use it. So what I love about it is that when you are, you, they have three shades, the light, the medium, and the dark, and you get two colors for your brows. You get two highlights and then a wax. Now, I'll tell all here, I'll tell all. I, my hair started getting all wild. <laughs> so I trimmed them so I don't need to wax them down. But, <laughs> Maybe if I had the wax back then, I wouldn't have needed to turn them. So, so now I'm just going to take the dark one and I have to, now I'm getting, this is a new challenge with the sun. Clean up my bottom line. And then at the top. <clears throat> so a friend last night was watching Bachelorette and she texted me and she says, oh, you've got to watch The Bachelorette. You'll love it. Does anybody watch that? I've only watched it a few episodes years ago when Jillian was on. Do you remember Jillian? She's now living in Kelowna. She was on the Love It or List at Vancouver with Todd. So she was originally on The Bachelorette. And so when I learned that she was on, she lived, grew up in Peace River, which is was on my doorstep where I, where I grew up in Grand Prairie, near Grand Prairie. So that's the last time I watched The Bachelorette. So I watched it last night. And then, but when I started watching it, it was like near the three quarters of the way through, like it was right near the end. So I hit record and then I saw, yeah, I love Jillian too. I miss that show. And they had, there was such a connection or such a chemistry between Todd and her. I, and I really liked it when her husband came on board. And hello, gorgeous. Ethel, I want that mug. <laughs> it's perfect. You enjoy it. I saw it. I saw it. Um, so anyway, I I was watching. So I, I managed to get it where it says, you could start from the beginning, but you can't fast forward. And it was two hours long. And this is already after 10. And I just thought, no, I can't stay up till midnight. So I can't fast forward. So I thought, well, I'll just do my best. So I was dozing off. And I fell asleep through bits of it. And then when I woke up, 
um, I saw where they were and I thought, you know what, I'm pretty sure now that I can get the recorded part. So the, the Claire, um, apparently, <laughs> this sounds like so poverty talk. <laughs> I just never saw it before for years. So anyway, she uh, was in love with one of the guys. It was like love at first sight almost, it sounds like. So anyway, all of a sudden, I wake when I switched and I couldn't get the live anymore. And I had the recorded version, but I missed what happened. I think he proposed and they left the show, which is new for The Bachelorette. And then they had to bring in another girl. Now, isn't that interesting? So anyway, I says, what happened? Did he propose? I missed it. <laughs> Like, if I'm going to watch it, at least I want to know what happened. Sad. That's the best part. That's probably why she wanted me to watch it. She was like, this is, you've never, they've never had this happen before. Yeah, I love watching, uh, I loved watching Love It or List It. Especially when I had my house, it gave me such good ideas. So the chair that I got for here is so comfortable. I absolutely love it. Now I'm using the lighter color for the front area, by the way, which gives it more of a natural ombre look. And then I use a spoolie just to <clears throat> blend it. Okay. A little bit of liner. I'm going to use this black liquid liner. You could use the dip and draw or you could use a pencil liner. You could use brown or you could use, which is called proper, or you could use perfect, which is black. Um, I'm using this because I don't want it to dry out before it's gone. And so it's, it's kind of neat, it's like a Sharpie, but I know it will come back. Things are, are gonna start coming back. It's gonna be good. 2021 is gonna be good. 2021 is gonna be good. Oh, that color, that eyeshadow is so pretty. I don't know if you can, it shows, but with the different color variances, very, very pretty. So we're gonna glam it up. Now, can you see me where in my new spot I have to check? And I'm just going to stay close to the lashes. And just a little bit of a wing. Just a gentle line. I used to have, when I was younger, I had such smooth, tight skin, and now as you get older, it softens up. So I have to, I don't like to stretch it, but I'm just, um, hello gorgeous, welcome. Nice to see you, Doris. It's um, just having to smooth it a bit so that it doesn't catch on my, the folds of my skin. And you could put a little bit below. I'm gonna keep it clean underneath today except for that little bit of um, um, liquid shadow that we put under. And now I'm going in with my setting powder. We want to set this and grabbing this, the powder concealer brush and just gonna stipple it on. Now what is that? Oh, it's a hair. This is going to set the makeup. I did a video once, I don't know if you saw it, where I put the stick foundation on my arm and put setting powder on the one spot and it does not move. So the setting powder is gonna keep your makeup from rubbing off. That's why now, that's 
that, I just thought of that. One thing that I love is that before, I used to hate it. I always had makeup on my collar, on my clothes, and it wasn't anywhere near it, right? But you bring it down your neck a little bit. And so I could often not wear certain things. Um, oh, I'm glad you saw it, Doris, thank you. And um, because I didn't want, like for example, I had this beautiful, I have it's this beautiful brand new baby blue coat. Well, it, I hold back from wearing it. I only will wear it on a cooler day when I can put a scarf because I didn't want the makeup to run off. I don't have to worry now because this keeps, I don't have makeup on my clothes anymore. Isn't that cool? The other thing it does is it has diffusers in it. So it just helps to, um, it's translucent. So it's not adding any color and it's just helping to blend and diffuse and it mattifies. I don't know if you noticed, I just noticed I have a line. So I'm just gonna grab this. You don't want any lines. I'm gonna bring that up onto my ears a little bit. There we go. Just make their, sure this is well blended. Okay. And, and now we can do our lashes. And I love the lash primer. Um, it does, it's nourishing and conditioning my lashes. So as I'm wearing mascara, it's helping them to get healthier so that they will grow. It's, so it's going to help promote growth if you've got healthy lashes. It also plumps them a bit because, which helps to add to volume. Oh, by the way, I should mention, so... From now, for the next 10 weeks, you'll notice there isn't a monthly kudos, a monthly promotion. What they're doing is they are doing a bundle, a special bundle on the first Monday of, of every week. So this Monday's bundle, they started it on Sunday, one day early. I'm going in with a twisted mascara, of course. And I should do the, I should do the 4D. Maybe I'll do that next week. And they um, they did it one day early because November Sunday was November 1st. And so what they're doing, so this month's bundle, and I've got mine coming, is the lip butters. And so they're like a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss. And they're, but they're like a luxurious moisturizing, they've got vitamin E. So they are like your lip balm mixed with, married with lipstick married with gloss how cool is that and they've got six shades and if you get two then you get also get the lip exfoliator which I will use and I love the lip exfoliator it's got a sugary base so that it's um, is granular so that it takes off your dead skin it is especially wonderful to use when you're using our liquid lip stains or when you are using, I'll often, you'll see me use the lip liner as lipstick. And if you have little cracks and dead skin, that shows, right? It doesn't look pretty. So that takes that off as well as it's nourishing your lips. It's got ingredients in it to nourish your lips. So these lip butters, I'm so excited. So as soon as I get them, I'll be using them to show you. But the sale ends, the bundles go away Sunday. So if you want them, grab them because the new bundle comes out on Monday. So these, the lip butters are available till, and I hope I put the link in there. If I didn't, I will add it. I will add it after I get off for the lip butters to make sure. And if you get two, you get the lip, lip exfoliator for $59 and they make awesome gifts. They've got three really pretty nude colors. One's more of a brownie, and then they've got one that's, I already forget, one's a beautiful reddish. But the thing is, is they're not like strong like a lipstick. They're not in your face, so they're perfect to give to teenagers because you're not gonna have these bright colors like lipstick. I already know what the bundle is for Monday. 
<laughs> but I'm like, okay, am I allowed to talk? I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's just say it, it's gonna, you're gonna wow them with your lashes. How about that? I'll have to watch my post or my post on Monday. Of course, I have to order everything so I don't get it till. The mail has not been that fast. I guess we're coming into that season that the mail is going crazy. So what I love about the Twisted Mascara is it has biotin in it. So I wrote down what the ingredients are. So it has hydrolyzed keratin, which helps slow down and prevent breakage. It has argan oil, which helps condition your lashes. Bi it has biotin, which helps your lashes to grow. I got all six, Shelly, I got all six buffer lip butters. <laughs> You know me. Um, and then it has vitamin B5, which softens and improves the strength of your eyelashes. So these are the ingredients that are in it. So it helps promote lash growth. Which ones are you going to get? It adds up. It adds up. But I wanted all six colors. And now it's a business expense. So if anybody wants to join me in this business, I'll tell you, it is so much fun. I mean, you get free makeup and you don't have to leave the house. And it's, you are connecting with women, helping women look pretty, feel beautiful, have confidence. <laughs> yes, of course I did. Oh, Shelly, you, you, yes, please think strong and hard. I'll be that, okay, I'll be that voice to help you to do this because this is the perfect time during COVID. We're all stuck inside. People are not shopping in the big box stores. I mean, the shelves are virtually empty. So I touched my skin a little bit. So I'm just going to let it dry and then I'm going to go back and, and get that once it's dry. And then it comes right off without making a big mess. And I have this amazing team. And you get to work with me. You get to work with me. And I'm new, but we're, and I'm on this learning curve, but you know, it is so much fun. Once you get, like, it, it's getting easier and easier. Do you know, it made a huge difference having this station. Took, it cut my stress. I would say for sure, 70% because it was a lot of stress dragging things back and forth and then cleaning up after. So it was a lot of extra workload, but it was like worrying about, am I gonna forget anything? And what I like is that if I felt like, like if I didn't feel like sisterly, I could just reach over and grab a different color. Except if, if I put it in the link, I'd have to go and change that. But yeah, it's so, so cool. Okay, I could keep building on this, but it is, such a beautiful mascara. So now we are on to lips. Setting powder. Oh, highlighter. Highlighter. That's the one thing I always forget. I'm going to use Pearly. Um, I did find out there are some items, you know, that are out of stock. So if anybody's interested, just write, message me because I've, there's a group, a young, worth, uh, unique presenters where they have extras and they're selling them. And so I wanted the color in benevolent so this one is like this champagne peachy pink highlighter and the other one is more of a whitey silvery glittery and I wanted that one so it's been out of stock and blah, I found it in the group so I can let anybody know if there's any out of stock items I also found a couple other older palettes which I considered ordering but then I thought I can't use them for my lives because if I'm not available then what good is that um, to be doing them and then you want to order them and you can't so I changed my mind on that and so I'm just going to add a little bit to the tops of my cheeks so this is the one thing I always often forget and down my nose and the cupid's bow here we go so today I know it was hard I wanted to go bold I was thinking about um, lip stain, but I decided to do a splash liquid lipstick.
So I'm gonna grab my lip butter, and I know it's here. I just have to figure out where everything is. There it is. Not my lip butter, my exfoliator. So this is, comes with the butters. Um, apparently, I thought I had peppermint, but I have original. But it's like, it's like, it has a beautiful flavor. So it's gritty. Mm, and it tastes good because it's the sugar kick. <laughs> the little bit. And you just smoosh them around. If yours are quite bad, then just grab a, spool, um, a spoolie. Okay, that's coming out. I gotta glue that in. Okay, and then you can wipe it off or you can lick it off. <laughs> And all your makeup would be a, is a business expense, Shelly. That's why I'm so far behind in make, in my um, um, book work because I have to go back and get all of the, this information. Okay. I have just a titch. Still, a, you know, it's a scar from that cold sore and I just hate that, eh? Okay, so I am going to use my brown medium brown brow pencil as a liner because I didn't really want to add any color but I wanted to have a crisp and crisper edge and I didn't blend it well enough there You don't have to do this. Just want to do it. Okay. And now today I am using Successful, the Splash Liquid Lipstick. It's a, this is, um, my go-to for fall. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It doesn't add too much color, but it's got a bit more of a rose. The other color is um, slightly snarky, is when you compare them, I don't know if you can see, one is more snarky, it's a bit more pinky. So as you can see, successful is a bit more of this, this golden, um, mauve -y color so I thought it would go really nicely with today's look is either that or a, a lip, lip stain okay These have amazing staying power. Should I go get lip plump, my lips plumped, girls? <laughs> Crazy, huh? I, I know, it's like, it does come to my brain because I think they're so skinny. What a pretty color. Now, I just press, just press your lips together. Don't smoosh them. So we put the, I put the brow pencil that stopped, made that line and then my lip splashed up liquid lipstick and then it's not gonna be going all over the place. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of gloss and that's it. I'll do some setting spray. And our look is done. Setting spray, which is going to help also 
from anything exterior breaking down our makeup, whether it's in the air or whether it's rubbing and clothes and especially with masks. Um, are the lip liners wind up or they have to be sharpened? They have to be sharpened. The brow pencil is, a, is retractable. Yes, the brow pencils retract. And the lip liners, you need it. Yeah, you have to sharpen them. Okay, that one's that one's not a unique. Here we go. And they've got this. It's a really nice sharpener. I love it. I've got two of them. Um, it's it collects it. Of course, very easy. And it's got this little thing here. If they get some a piece gets stuck, you can just use it to clean your blade. And then I would just pop this top up and shake it out. There we go. So, on to showing you what I'm wearing. So bring the little curl down. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. So, I'll show you, even though there are other animal prints. So I'm gonna have to put that down. My new spot. So, my chair doesn't push under. It's too big, but I decided to keep it anyway. And I think you can see me better here, eh? Um, I've got the blinds down everywhere. So this is really cute. This, I have this in the animal print, which I wore on one, and then I have this in the yellow, it, and, and then in the black, which is so wonderful. You can dress it up with anything. But I had the brown earrings, and I, I threw on this animal print cardigan, all from Pretty Cute Things. So she always has really cute things. And the code is there for to get 20% off and check out her 50% off because she's switching websites. So very, very soon, thank you, Shelly. Very, very soon, um, we will be able to add to cart and finish the payment and in, in, in all on the same website. Right now, what you have to do is take a screenshot, add everything to your cart, apply the code EL20, L20, to get 20% off and then take a screenshot and email it to her. I've given you her email. If you have any problems, let me know. Don't forget the monthly bundle for the, um, or the weekly bundle and Sunday to get the lip butters. They have six shades and I will go afterwards and make sure that I have the link in today's look. Um, the look is there, the kit is there. If you want to do the business, uh, it would be awesome 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 to work with you I've got one lady working it with it already with me and we might even have a second this is so good um, but that if not just want the good the products at a good deal then you I'm I'm so good with that and I'm, I'll, I'm there to help you uh, in using the makeup and making you feel beautiful and confident so everybody have a wonderful weekend and we will talk to you again soon we'll see you back here on next Tuesday and be safe. Be safe. Take care.